Please and thank you might go a long way with people, but when it comes to computers, don't expect good manners in, to get you any further. Such was the tough lesson learned by an English grandmother, Twitter user Ben John said he opened up his grandmother's laptop to find that she was using kind manners to search up things on Google. OMG opened my nan's laptop and when she googled something she put please and thank you, John tweeted. Grandma, 86 year old May Ashworth, apparently thought being polite was just the norm. Stolen kisses on a school playground are nothing new, but a stolen ring is making waves in the UK. Following the sage wisdom of Beyonce and Marilyn Monroe, little Tommy decided it was high time to propose to his crush, Millie. But having apparently decided she was worth more than some old hair boo ring and ring pop, he helped himself to his mom's story box for the big moment. The best part is Millie's mom, howling with laughter in the background, at least the future father-in-law is making, taking it pretty well. A Chinese power plant bosses, they were arrested over the deadly platform collapse. Nine people have been arrested in connection to a deadly accident at a Chinese power plant that killed 74 people last week, according to China's state news agency. Chattanooga school bus driver crashes bus. Jonathan e. Walker, a Chattanooga school bus driver, was on his normal bus route with 37 kids on the bus when the bus crashed into a tree, flipped over, and split apart, killing five kids on impact. Mm. It took rescue workers hours to get all the kids out of the bus. Another six kids were hospitalized in an intensive care unit. The bus driver was arrested for vehicular homicide charges. Investigators are still trying to determine the cause of the crash. That's terrible. Man steals pizza from a restaurant while naked. Eating pizza at home in the nude is questionable, but acceptable if you're alone. But what about stealing pizza in the nude? This can get you in serious trouble, especially when surveillance cameras catch you in the act. This unidentified man in Baltimore area decided to sneak into a local pizza restaurant, Slice of Townsend. He entered the building during the early morning hours through a damaged roof vent. Once inside, he removed all of his clothes. I thought you were supposed to <laughs> wear a ski mask when you knock off a store, not take everything off. Of course, there's no pizza available when the shop is closed, so he settled for breaking into the cash registers and taking the cash before leaving. Thanksgiving charity dinner feeds hundreds in Columbia, Missouri. On Saturday, Columbia hosted their 18th annual Destiny of Hope Harvest Dinner. Glenn Cobbins, a community activist, started the Thanksgiving charity dinner of the year he got out of prison. We served our first dinner on a door with two sawhorses, said Judy Hubbard, who is one of the original organizers of the Harvest Dinner. It's just grown every year and I think we served even more this year. Hubbard estimates they served about 800 Thanksgiving meals this year and last November volunteers served about 700 people. Donald Trump claims voter fraud. Donald Trump slams recount efforts, claims fraud cost him the popular vote. President-elect Donald Trump tweeted a stream of thus far baseless claims of voter fraud Sunday, indicating that Hillary Clinton's campaign involvement in an election recount was hypocritical. Eight-year-old Wolverhampton boy delivers his newborn sister. On November 23, 2016, eight-year-old Marcus Caffrey delivered his baby sister while waiting on the ambulance. The boy followed the instructions of a 999 operator while his father went outside to flag down the ambulance. A Michigan hunter pranked fellow highway drivers with a dead deer posted like it was drinking an alcoholic beverage and driving an ATV down the road. Jeremy Rosenberg posted a video to Facebook showing the deer sitting in the driver's seat on an ATV loaded on the back of a flatbed truck. In the Thanksgiving it? tournament, South Iron beat us 61 to 30. We beat Fredericktown 58 to 49, and Bismarck beat us 78 to 48 in their home court. Tuesday night, varsity boys won 61 to 50, JV won as well, and girls lost 47 to 31. And now for the school news. The science fair is next Tuesday, which is also a half day. And Ms. Knox, our beloved counselor in the office, is retiring in December. And the Christmas parade is today. And the Stuco is going to a Mike Smith motivational speaking event today as well. President-elect Donald Trump tweeted a stream of thus far baseless claims of voter fraud. What are you doing, Crystal? <laughs> I see that coming. Okay. It's literally, it's literally, it's literally as simple as standing here and staring at a wall. And you can't Maybe do it was that. that yeah. Three. I swear I will deck you square in there. Two. Oh my god. That'd be okay. funny. Get that off camera. That'd be nice. Be yeah. Yeah. Midget goes on attack.
Huh? It's the next funny news story. Midget goes on rampage. <laughs> okay. Ready? Midget destroys ready? a girl's face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Okay. Somebody count down for him. Three, Three two, two, one, <laughs> go. I can't do countdowns. Okay. Three, two, one, go. go. Shut yeah, up, ready. Crystal, and do your job, Shut dang it. Okay. Good thing. I'm glad we have the power. Are we done? Up. No, we still got two more to go, Crystal. <laughs> so, Georgia man still doesn't know who the president elect is. Look at the camera. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay. Shh, yes, I can. I'm talking Fairly. too loud. Okay. Fairly. We're good. We yeah. did it. We got one more. One more. <laughs> That's nine, nine, nine. I, I have to. I hate Chris. that. Chris. So, what are you doing? Don't mess it up. Seriously, you can't. I have to, like, make mine bigger. Well, what did you touch the camera for? <laughs> Get back in the middle. Get back in the middle. Jesus. Donald Trump claims voter fraud. Donald Trump slams recount efforts, claim that, that fraud costs him popular vote. President-elect Donald Trump tweeted a stream of thus far baseless claims of voter fraud on Sunday, indicating that the Hillary Clinton's campaign involvement in an election recount was hypocritical. <laughs> <laughs> Donald Trump, wait, what am I saying? Claims voter fraud, sorry. Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, into the night with everybody. Knowing there, shut up. Whenever, listen, 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 listen. When he listen. pauses, whenever he I pause, is because I want a big enough gap there that I it's can okay. see it when I edit it. I got you. You're good. Okay. I'm sorry. So that means don't break the silence because you ruin everything I'm like sorry. we just it's did. It's right now. Start like from where you paused.